All right, Mr. Gordon, uh, my name's Bill Dale. We need to sort our children's room, I understand. Yeah, yeah, children's room. We've had twins, Marjorie and Simon. Fantastic news, Mr. Gordon. Mind if I come in? What did you say your name was again? Bill. Bill Dale. You don't look like a Bill to me. William, then. <laughs> was this on your birth certificate? Well, Bill, but... <laughs> so not William? What did your mother call you? Uh, neither really, just uh, just sweetheart. <laughs> you don't look like a sweetheart to me. No. Oh. So the children's room, Mr. Gordon. Not sure. I'm sorry? If I trust you. Well, I've got the work orders in the van if you want me to go get them. You said your name was William. It is. It is. It's Bill. It's Bill. Bill. You don't look like a Bill. And how should a Bill look like? Bills have usually lost most of their hair. Big blokes. Plump. With hard faces. And have an unusual speech pattern. Like they've got a mouth full of chips. With a deep, satisfying laugh. And who's this? It's my colleague. All right. My name's Mr. Gordon. What's your name? No. Sebastian. You don't look like a Sebastian. Yeah, I guess I'm... sound more like I should be in some kind of Shakespearean play or something. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly right. Bit nippy out. Huh? Side. <laughs> nippy. That ain't nippy. That's nippy. Okay, look, Mr. Gordon. Uh, Xavier, please. Xavier who? Xavier. Your name is Xavier. You don't look like a Xavier. You know, Xaviers normally have Spanish roots. You know, wild chest hair. You know, a tan, a large package. I'm not the one trying to get in other people's houses. Right. You don't look 29. What's with this man? Look, we're here to do the decorating. Your wife phoned us, told us to come here. Hold on. Chantel! Chantel, can you come here please, darling? Yes, babe? Did you book a Bill and Sebastian to work on Marjorie and Simon's room? Oh, I dread to think what Simon and Marjorie look like. Are you insulting our kids? What does Simon look like a Simon? Does Marjorie look like a Marjorie? Of course. Marjorie's well on her way to looking like a woman from the 1700s. With a flushing cheek like she's churning butter in the agricultural boom. She's going to make cookies. With a nice little white hat and an apron. But of course Simon's a zealot. <laughs> what the hell are you saying to me? Oh, he'll stop at nothing in pursuit of his religious ideals. Oh. These are the builders, babe. But they don't look like builders. No, they don't. Right guys, we're the builders and we're here to do your little wet and wilds room. Now don't worry about us, we've got a couple of planks of two by fours and we're ready to go radio rental. That's metal. <laughs> Let us not linger. There is much to do. Plaster and painting. Many things to screw. Bill will carry the clothes and I the paste. So onwards and upwards, let us make haste. Yeah, yeah, just make us a lovely cuppa and we'll get cracking. Speaking of cracking, whoosh! Those are cracking. Hmm, all the world's a stage, and all the women have their fantastic parts. They have their entrances and exits, and one man in his time will be lucky enough to play the many pieces. Yeah, bloody tits and arse and apples and pears. 
He don't look like a Shakespearean. Why doesn't he? You're black. Don't worry, Seb. I've got an idea. <laughs>